I want to do a video response to Late Night Gaming's uh, video he made a couple days ago regarding uh, if, he, if it was a wrong uh, thing to do, releasing what he released, which was the whole Halo 5 Microsoft development. And um, first and foremost, um, you know, we can't prove that it's true, obviously. And, and, and Late Night Gaming can't prove that it's true because of the people that he would be exposing. So this could be fake, this could be real. We don't know. I think it's more than likely real because a lot of the things he say he said falls in line with a, with with what would really happen. Like like we the, the marketing we got for Halo Five was so amazing, and then what we got in the game was nowhere near what we got in the marketing. So that's just one little snippet of of information that makes sense in everything he was saying. If if you want to go check out his video, the link is in the description or on the screen. Um, he says everything. I'll link the first video he mentioned, and then I'll link the second video he mentioned, where he's like, "Was it a good idea?" Uh, I think it was a, an amazing idea to release that to the public because we deserve to know. We deserve to know the truth. We were hunting the truth, so we deserve to know. So I'm really happy that he he made this public. I'm really happy that he did that. And um, he did tell me a couple days ago that he was going to do a big reveal for his 15,000 subscriber special, which ended up being this. So um, late night gaming, don't feel bad that you did this. Uh, don't don't feel bad at all. You are. Thank you for telling me this and many other people, because um, this does this does greatly impact my thoughts on Halo 5's development and on 343 Industries. Because if you know me. If you know me, and like Late Night Gaming was worried about, oh, I'm not going to be like Ready Up Live, I'm not going to be like their best buds anymore. And I don't know Ready Up Live, I never met the guy, I don't know him personally, I barely watch him, if ever watch him. I used to watch him a long time ago, but now I just don't watch him anymore. I don't like Ready Up Live because he's just so uber positive, and he's... You know, it's good to be positive, and I'm learning that. It's good to have a positive mindset because that means everything, right? But it's one thing to be positive and then to be, like, so goddamn positive that there's no such thing as a negative. And Ready Up Live, to me, is a person that comes across as someone who just only looks at the positives and ignores the negatives. And I don't like that, which is why I don't watch the guy. But that's just my personal preference. I have nothing against the guy. And honestly, I mean, like, he's, he's, he, he's come out before saying that he's not buddy buddy with 343 Industries and now you know honestly that could just be damage control because maybe he is because he went to their studio like good for Ready of Live he, he, he's had a lot of really cool opportunities and I wouldn't be surprised if he's working for 343 Industries and that's cool whatever I don't care um and then late night gaming was like oh my god I'm not gonna be like Ready of Live now dude if 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 Ready of Live is you know buddy buddy with th with uh 343 Industries um, why would you want to be so fake? You know, like why would you want to be so fake? And I'm fucked too. I have been trash talking the living shit out of Halo 5. So I'm fucked too. I am completely fucked. Yes, like you, you leaked all that information. Um, but I've been trash talking 3 for 3 Industries for a long time. So I'm fucked too. Don't feel that bad. Um, honestly, they're just like, fuck JKP Rising, this guy's a fucking troll, we're not going to pay attention to anything he says, sadly. Uh, so, don't feel bad that you're not going to be buddy-buddy with 3 for 3 Industries, because honestly, man, that's not being true to yourself, and that's way more important than being buddy-buddy with a company, honestly. Um, so, you know, if this is all true, if Microsoft really intervened a lot and fucked everything, right? If that's true, then 343 honestly is the victim in this case. They are responsible still because they did make the damn game, but then again, then again, Microsoft is 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 mostly responsible. I mean, 343 is involved because they made it, right? They made it and they chose to stick with it. And again, like if they go against Microsoft, they'll get fired. And then why would you fuck up Halo 5? Why would you fuck up Halo 5? We were, we were teased so many awesome elements. And like I said, this could all be fake. I'm not saying it is fake. I think it's real, but I'm just throwing the, disc the disclaimer out there that it could be fake. I don't think it is, though. Um, Microsoft, what the fuck were you thinking, bro? Girl? Person? What were you thinking, man? What were you thinking, man? That was... Um, we could have had one of the best, if not the best, Halo game. And 
all the ideas that Late Night was was describing, open world, like an ODST type of game again, and I love ODST. Uh, man, what a what a missed opportunity! What a missed opportunity! And um, wow, it just sucks. And 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 if Microsoft is responsible for everything, then. You know, I shouldn't be attacking 343 Industries anymore. I should be attacking Microsoft. But it's just a damn shame because it's like, why would you fuck up this project? Because if that project came out, I guarantee you the story would have been way better. Because originally Cortana wasn't even supposed to come back. She was supposed to be gone and not come back ever. And in, in, in a couple of videos, like a, a couple of years ago, I made a couple of videos saying, don't bring Cortana back. Don't bring her back. Granted, when Halo 5 came out, I did really like the campaign for some unknown reason. I honestly think it was just the hype because you go back and watch some videos and I loved the campaign. I loved it and now I despise the campaign. So that's kind of weird. I don't know why I liked it so much. Um, I think it was the hype. But um, overall, late night gaming, don't feel bad for, for doing what you did. Um, and uh, dude, dude, you're uh, you're fucking awesome, man. You, you told us the truth. It makes a lot of sense. I'm happy you did. And this is good for me too because, you know, I've been bashing 343 Industries for the longest time and now, you know, they may not even be the people responsible for all the bullshit. They just might be the slaves involved in, in this mess. So, it's a lot to think about. It really is. It's a lot to think about and it's really scary for what the future of Halo is is because now we have this garbage story in Halo 5 and it's like how can you redeem it how like how can you how how can you fix this mess that you put in like Cortana is the villain oh, anyway this is not this is not a bashing video even though I'm kind of bashing already you see how e you see how easy it is you see how easy it is to bash Halo 5 it's so fucking easy it's so fucking easy to do this um so, the act man made a good point, he says maybe make a Halo 4.5 where you would be like an ODST type, not like an ODST type of game, but an ODST type of project, or maybe a full-blown game that's, that's, that, that just bridges the gaps and just adds more character depth to Halo 5 and more depth to Halo 5, because we got nothing of that in Halo 5. So, overall, late night gaming, don't feel bad, the best thing you can do right now, and I know I'm, I'm not a certified doctor. I, I, this is just what I've been doing because I've been making update videos for myself. But uh, having a positive mindset, holy shit, it does wonders. Um, I know, I know you mentioned you have anxiety. I, I, I don't have anxiety, so I can't relate to you on a personal level. Um, so my advice may not be so easily. My advice may not work so easily for you as it does for me. But here's what I did to really improve my life. Um, I stayed positive. I was incredibly optimistic. I wasn't like ready of live optimistic, but I was still optimistic. Um, I went to the gym. I started working out more. You know, fitness keeps me motivated. It's really good for the body. It beats cancer. There's a lot of benefits to working out. I did different activities. I went out and socialized more. I went out and uh, dated more people. I did more things. And the biggest thing I did was I got away from YouTube. You mentioned in your video like you want to take a month break. Honestly, man, that may not be a bad idea. And I know that your channel is really going, it's blowing up. Like you're going to hit 20,000 subscribers soon. I know you're at 15,000 right now, but you're at the point where your channel is gaining traction every day that it's going to keep going up no matter what you do. So honestly, man, like maybe just take a week off or two weeks or just upload every so often because um, your health is way more important than YouTube. And um, for the longest time, I was kind of enslaved to YouTube. I would just be on YouTube all the time, and my life was YouTube. And it got extremely depressing because in my real life, my real life didn't really hold any substance. And my YouTube life was really all I had to live for. Not that I was going to commit suicide, but that has nothing to do with anything. No. Um, and, and, and um, you know, that's a whole big discussion that I don't even want to get into. Um, but my life meant really nothing because all I was doing was YouTube and in real life I had nothing really to do because it was all YouTube and now it's kind of flipped I upload like a video once a week and most of my life is now in real life which is working socializing working out staying positive doing all these different type of activities so 
if you're in a position right now, late night gaming, where you just can't really handle YouTube, and I don't know, I, I don't really talk to you that much, I want to talk to you a little bit more, um, and I appreciate what you said to me uh, on Skype, I, I really appreciate that, um, so, um, just stay positive, man, we're here for you, we are here for you, don't feel bad, you did the right damn thing, um, and, uh, yeah, um, Stay positive. That's the biggest thing. I'm gonna quote Deus Ex again. <laughs> um, the body may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. David Seraph, words to live by. My name is James of JKP Rising. If you talk too quick, you can't speak normal. Um, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for some more videos here on JKP Rising and Late Night Gaming. Act man, I love you. And same with uh, SPV3. I will try to. I will have an update on SPV3. There's a lot of shit to talk about. There's a lot of shit to talk about. There's this Rain Series Three. I gotta make an update video on that because that's been MIA for a while. Um, the, the the new Halo Five is coming out uh, in three days. The Warzone firefight. So once what I want to do is I want to uh, make a video giving my overall thoughts on Halo Five because it seems like the game's gonna be completed on June 29th, not October 27th, 2015. Uh, so I'll make an update video giving my final thoughts on Halo 5, if I'm going to continue with it or if I'm not going to continue with it. And um, after the hype kind of dies down, then I'll get into the other updates like Rain and everything else. So thank you for watching and uh, stay positive, people. It really, 